I'm on red. Hold on. There you go. It's like, don't do another Pokemon Red playthrough. Everybody does that. Well, this is something different, something special. It's a hack of Pokemon Red called Pokemon Brown. And it's done by this guy named Cool Boy Man. Uh, you can Google it when you want, if you want to play this, because it's a fairly hard game to find, and you'll probably find about three or four how-to videos on YouTube already, and that sort of gave away part of the surprise, as does that. Pokemon Brown is completely done in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow graphics, but it implements certain Pokemon from Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh into the storyline. And it also, to some extent, emulates the first few um, cities and scenarios of the Johto region. At least that that's when the version that came out that Datai did the playthrough of, but this is the quote-unquote final product, so maybe Jota will be farther extended out. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see, just like me. I've never played this game before, so this is going to be a new experience for both of us. So, without further ado, let's get in. And as you can see, instead of Professor Oak, this is Morty, and instead of Kanto, we are in Rijon. And something interesting is, okay, well, Morty, it's a sprite for Morty, but it's Timothy in the game, my bad. Spoke too soon. But something interesting is that this sprite wasn't here in the last version, it was actually still Professor Oak. And so this game is already different than what I remember. So yeah, and... The cool thing about Cool Boy Man when he made this game is, alright, so Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh are all based off of provinces in Japan, and they all have a real world equivalent and they all link together. Rijon actually links to the actual canon um, areas in the Pokemon series, so... It's like an extension. And... Hmm, let's see here. Name. Name, 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 name. Um... Let's see. I'll do something different. Something I don't... I've never done before. I'll go with Keaton. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so much easier if I could just use the um, keyboard for this, but sadly I cannot. So, <laughs> the music is the same at least so far. I don't really know much about this game, but I have heard that um, later on in the game, you get, um, like special um music like pre-made for this game like exclusive and so it hasn't mentioned anything about the rival yet which is um weird but the story for this game so far is you just moved from somewhere hold on awkward cut back in yeah so sorry about that I had a little interruption at my front door. It was just some solicitor trying to sell crack or religion or one of those things. But, um... So, about the story for this game. Rijon is an island um, off in the Pokemon world, and your family just moved here from wherever, Kanto, I believe. And you just finished unpacking, and... So far, everything seems the same. You know, normal bed that you can't get into. The... I believe he had an NES in the original. Now it's a Super Nintendo. So... Yeah. Oh. Whoa. I didn't remember you being able to um, use the PC in this version. But, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Or 
Yeah, the Professor. It's my favorite kind of guy. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Stand by me. Got it. That's the movie. Stand by me. Hmm. Everything is so aquamarine. Let me see what this says. Seashore City. Where waves of new journeys begin their long travels. Uh huh. Which reminds me, um... This game is entirely... Like, the map is tweaked. It's based off of the Kanto map, but it's completely tweaked out. And, um... Every city has been recolored, and it's been renamed, and... Let me see what item I have. Just the potion, alright. I was hoping it started me out with the map, because I wanted to show you the new layout, but... We're just walking around Seashore City, and we can see... Right off the bat, we have a cut tree that I can't do anything yet, and... Hey, are you going to be a Pokemon trainer, Keaton? Um, no. No, I just dress like this for my health. Sure. Cool, I'm going to be one soon as well. It's very hard, but rewarding. Oh, yeah, that, was, that wasn't a waste of my time at all, douche. Oh, wow. There's a gym there. I didn't even know. Well, there for a minute. My grandpa told me to stay here. He is very mean. Cry me a river. Over here, we got our decks. Boy Scout. You should never be afraid to attempt to accomplish your dreams. Do you mean it? So yeah, going south and color change, um, more trees that I can't be bothered with right now, and a guy, what's up man? This road is pretty straightforward, you can never get lost on this road, <laughs> that's a challenge, <laughs> I'm still gonna get lost on this road. Route 53, Gravel Town to Seashore City. Hi, the Gravel Town Mart is giving out free samples today, so go ahead and take a free potion. Alright. Hmm. Now if only there was a way to continue that. I guess I'm late for something. Huh. And even though they showed the Morty sprite in the beginning, they still used the Professor Oak sprite. Because I guess Cool Boy Man couldn't be bothered to animate a walking Morty sprite. Mora, finally he's here. Ah, uh, they pre-named him Dam. I wanted to give him a comically hilarious name, like Douche! Spelled D-O-O-O-O-O-O-S-H. Because I'm cool like that. Three newly hatched Pokemon. Traditions of being a master. Legacy onto us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honored, all that nice stuff. Go take a nap, old man. Yeah, yeah, don't rush me. Hey, hey, what? It, what? Alright, now. I'm pretty sure that it's the same regular three. Yep, Charmander. I usually pick Charmander as my starter, but I'll see. I'll weigh my odds. Hmm. I hardly have ever picked Squirtle before. In fact, I don't think I've ever picked him. And Bulbasaur should be the last one. And Bulbasaur, I do tend to pick almost as much as Charmander. So, I think I'm going to go Squirtle. Just because I consider him to be sort of the weakest of the three. And so, I kind of want a challenge. Besides, I can always get, you know, 
Magmar Flareon as my, um, fire, and I can always wind up getting, like, um, Vile Plume or Victory Bell as my, um, as my grass, sorry. And so for a nick, nick name, for some reason, I don't know, funky punctuation right there, um, I don't know, do I want to give him a nickname? Anything I can think of, um... You know, actually, that's a good stopping point. Um, so, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Brown with Alex Schmidt 1992, the first part of hopefully a complete and thorough Let's Play. And with this, I will stop for part two later. See you guys.